Okay. All right, go down again. And I'll meet Igloys. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I will show you the path for the railroad track and where it led to, because that is some of the most astonishing gun positions that you will ever see anywhere on the Atlantic wall. That is what it's all about today. Let me put you into some context here. Um, this is a part two of a mini series. If you haven't seen part one, I strongly suggest you do. It is here where it says more. Under there, there's a link, click that, and you will definitely be amazed to see more of this area. Today, it's about some massive guns, not the small anti tank guns that the Germans used, or the 20 millimeters, or the machine guns. It is about massive massive coastal artillery. But believe me, it's not about what type of guns, even though they are very, very impressive. This is all about two absolutely incredible positions where the Germans installed these guns. And you can see that for yourself, that it's absolutely out of this world. So that's what it's all about. Let's go out and see what the Germans did here. So right there, that is where there's a turntable up here in the terrain. So now the transport wagon with the ammunition has come to here. And you can see it used to come up here, stop there, and then it could rotate and could go like up here or this way. And what is up here is what is so impressive about this position because now the ammunition are being changed over to a wagon, which is here. But where does that lead to? Well, this is where it starts to get really, really interesting. On the top there, the Germans placed a 21 centimeter Chamond L, what is it, 45, 46 gun. And to, it is almost incomprehensible to see that they actually took that artillery round from here all the way up to up there. And this place is out of this world because now the Germans had to have a winch to put the munition on this wagon. Eagle Eye is going to count all the steps up here. You can go behind me and you can count them and you can see how insanely crazy this place is. So you have your little wall on the side here and constantly on the right hand side to me there would be this track, this double track. Let me show you a very interesting picture showing you when they built this position here. That just tells you how much work was involved to get these guns up here. And now you can see we start to go up into the terrain and then right down there is the turntable. Still, the munition is on this, you know, conveyor kind of system. It's on the tracks and it's being pulled all the way up here by huge winches that now has control of that little munition going up the hill. And you're constantly walking on these here. I'm not sure whether there are, I think there are pieces missing all the way because it used to be like this, actually beautifully made tiles of rock. And then, oh, have to stop here. You can see here, absolutely not on the top yet and we're starting to climb up into the nature and uh, why did the germans do all of this well when you get up there you're definitely going to see why so how many steps have you got now 59. go all the way to the top 60 61 62 63 64 maybe 65 stairs steps all the way up there and now suddenly you will see the dimensions of this that is like a bunker by itself under this thing you can see under here most likely munition storages and then suddenly you can see the tracks here and somehow they got over this little bend here and then boom
a massive functioning position and now you can see why this is what they needed to protect they needed to protect the waterways they needed to protect land but most likely or most importantly of all it protected this stretch of ocean here because this gun could pivot 360 degrees around check out the size of these things here see that it is absolutely massive and these are the only things that tells you that something very special stood right here and all around here there would be ammunition primary ammunition behind some wooden uh, walls there take it off and then munition 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 and you can imagine how frantically intense the activity here would be with all of these guys working here following commands and then suddenly maybe somebody worked out a firing solution and then when that order was given it was all boom out there and just imagine how loud that must have been but that is what they protected they protected the waterways for vessels coming in here because further inland here the germans had some of the biggest investments they had on the Atlantic wall that was both a massive fortress with the biggest guns you can ever imagine it was an airfield naval base everything you can possibly imagine is on that side there and that is why they decided that on this island they need these guns because that's the first point you're going to be kind of in contact with the enemy if they try to come here these are so big I'm touching history right now you are definitely, Eagle Eyes, touching history. And uh, Eagle Eyes just said, Daddy, just, Im just imagine if we could have touched the same piece of equipment in 1944. Let's say that. I wonder how would it be to stand right here looking at that crew doing their tasks? I don't know. What about you guys? I think that would be absolutely something special but at least we are here now today and we can share this with you and that is what we do we do the travels we do all of this research and we go and we find these positions that we can actually share to you and show you what happened how it happened and i hope you enjoy and appreciate all our efforts so primary ammunition storages this is where the munition came up with the railroad track straight into that cart loading it into the bridge and boom off it goes now we're going to go down to the lower level of this place and see what is here and also imagine how windy it must have been up here so to be able to come in here that must have been such a wonderful thing for the cruise just a tiny little room i think there might be some ventilation in here is there another story down here or oh, floor everywhere you see details here you see metal rods and spikes coming up this would probably be in metal when the germans were there and you can see this room here let me see what we have here you guys just a tiny little, oh, I think, oh, look at that. Maybe they had the spent rounds coming down back here again. Oh no, I think the cable for the winch came here. And here, oh, look, Eagle Eyes, this is where the winch stood, you see? And the winch was pulled through a system around here into the floor. How cool, yep. That is what the purpose of this room here is. A winch, winch stood there, most likely electrical. Uh, then the cable went up there, turned around, and then went all the way down the hill. Wow, that is cool little detail to see. No, don't want to order any shells. I got my own shells. Well, I, I need a 21 centimeter shell. Do you have one? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> because I have a little gun that I'm gonna use that's the shell okay so little window here there were some huge steel doors uh, when the germans were here but they are removed a long time ago oh, but no, no. you know this is impressive but you know what we got more for them don't we guys yes we do so let's see if we can show you that so to get down again 
We have to come to the gun pit. It is such a massive gun pit, to be honest. It's very rare that you can see that. But see here, this is where the cable came from down there. And the cable had to turn around in some kind of fixture here. And then it was attached to the wagon. And then the wagon started its journey down the hill where Eagle Eyes are walking. And you can also see a bunker right ahead there. Absolutely stunning place. And just the view by itself is breathtaking. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Eagle Eyes found this. A lot of stairs going all the way up to the top. And what do you think it could be? AA. AA and that meaning? Anti-aircraft. Anti-aircraft gun. Could it be maybe a searchlight? Nah. Ah, we'll see. But you can see here, they built steps everywhere in the terrain so they could get the soldiers quickly up and down and maybe also safely up and down. So we are actually stepping on historical steps where all of these troops went up and down, up and down, up and down, changed guard duties maybe two, three, four times a day. I don't know. Wow. This one is also extremely steep all the way up there. And I'm glad there is a handrail here because this is very, very, very steep. I bet the EU, EU, EU regulations wouldn't accept this today. <laughs> There used to be a foundation for sure there with bolts. Has kind of been converted to something later. But again, are you ready? Do you want to see something beautiful? Boom. That is also why we do this. I'm honored and privileged to be able to do this together with my son, but also with each and every one of you. Yeah? You there. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for letting us have the opportunity to do what we do. And uh, without that great support that you're giving us, you know, there's no way that we could have done this. So now you can see track, railroad track system leads us up to here. And what is here? Well, this insane second gun position. And you can see here, this is where that munition round would be pulled up by the winch system all the way up there to the top. And I have to say, I have never, ever seen anything like this regarding size, the way the ammunition came up. This is not like a fortress on the top of the hill with just, you know, five guns and everything is supplied through that single hill. Each one of these guns has its own system. And that makes it very impressive to see how much work they had to do to just kind of do that. And you can see down there, very steep. Who, what could be down there, huh? Very exciting to think that might, maybe some pieces of the military activity was just chucked over the hillside there and it could stay there and be there even today. Who knows? Oh, I'm getting really, really tired because this place is sucking all the energy out of me. And we've been at it for so many days. Getting close to the end of the uh, Touching History Tour. We still have some extremely cool explorers that we're gonna share with you. But we just said we cannot leave without having shown you this because it is truly spectacular. And so is the drop down there. And I can see so many pieces of something down there. That's a lot of metal stuff down there. So maybe some other day we'll have a peek and check out what's down there. Nevertheless, this is the second gun position. I'll take you up and we'll check it out. Same here, the railroad track system is coming up here. The wagon is being pulled by the winch. This has even a bit more detail, so you can see that frame there. Cable is here. And then, just imagine this. Let me show you if I can do this. Imagine this scene here.
yes, these guys working frantically, trying to get that massive round into the bridge, secure that, shut the bridge, and then that huge gun was ready. And how much wouldn't I pay to actually see that thing right there? I would be willing to actually pay a lot of money just to see that thing right there. Just because I love history and I love to see history like this, but I would love even more to see that gun right there. And that is very tragic to see how many hundreds, even thousands of the guns that has just been removed, taken away. And Eagle Eye is taking a little breather there <laughs> because it's very, very tough to go here. But look at that. This is the view that all of these soldiers had. And as I said, they practiced, they drilled, they know all the routines. They had very, very uh, efficient systems to, to work through everything. And when that order was given, believe me, they did not hesitate because this was either getting them or they will get you. So who could blame them? It was war. But what a spectacular adventure and location this is. All of these are munition storages everywhere. And I guess you could come down to the lower floor here as well. I wonder if the, the winch is here. Nah, most likely not. Yeah, you got one room here. If I'm not too mistaken, see that insane thing they built here, that ramp, see that? Just imagine how much work that was to do this. And you saw that picture? Just to get all of this stuff up here, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of tons of rock to create that, but also hundreds of tons to get the gear up here. And then that winch, just that by itself would be a major task to get that up here and to make everything work. Oh, it's very, very impressive to see this. And down there, maybe that is the um, dining hall or mess hall. I'm not 100% sure. Just next under the gun there. Wow. And there's another barrack foundation there. These are truly dinosaurs from the past. But I believe that it's very important that we go to these locations and share these images, tell the stories and show exactly what happened. And that is basically what we set out to do on this location here and also on the fantastic touching history tour that Eagle Eyes is soon bringing to oh, an yes. end. Eagle Eyes really did get his dream come true on the Touching History Tour. And I promised for some of you who helped us out with some donations on the Super Thanks feature, I wanted to include you in the video. I actually lost this out in the forest, but I'll do it now. Thank you each and every one of you who helped us out with some donations on the Super Thanks feature. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want to help us, to go out and find more locations like that. You know, we have this super thanks feature here. Basically your opportunity to help us out, to go out and find and share more history and put some gasoline into the fuel tank and off we go. This place was just amazing. The two most incredible artillery positions that we ever come across, but guess what? We are going to do so much more in the future, so you're welcome to join us. Thank you for each and every one of you who watch, subscribe and comment. Give us a thumbs up or heart. And if you hit that notification bell, let our notifications come true. You will be notified every time we release a new video. And Eagle Eyes, he was so, so happy on this Touching History Tour. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart because he really got some of his dream come true on this journey. And uh, that was so good to see as a dad. And I'm very, very proud of him. All right. Um, what can I say? Thank you for being here. Absolutely so appreciative for that. And uh, before you know it, we will be out there with some more explorers and more exciting history to share with you. So in the meantime, please stay safe, everybody. Keep smiling and remember, 
history is actually everywhere.